Welcome back, my loves. So today we are going to attempt to make some alcohol inks. And this is some of ones I've already made or got started making. And some were more successful than others. But in all, I think they worked out pretty well, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. Now, to make these, you're going to want to make sure you have some gloves on because it will stain. And the higher percentage alcohol, the better your inks are going to be, and they're going to dry a little faster. So I'm going to make these out of 91% alcohol, and I am going to make them with these old markers. You heard me right. Old markers. If you're like me and you got a lot of art projects uh, that you do, you might have some old markers laying around, or if you have children, you might have some old markers laying around as well. So why waste them? Let's go ahead and use them. So here I am going to take these markers apart so I can get the old tubes with containing the ink out. Some of these, these black ones, were kind of hard to get open. I can't remember what brand they are, but I am using all permanent markers, and which are going to probably work better than, say, washable markers. And yeah, you can see the struggle was real getting these black markers open. The white ones, um, I got at Walmart for like 99 cents. Um, but I got them a while back, so I don't think they're that price anymore. I think they're like two to something now. But anyway, I am taking them apart and I'm going to get the insides out where all the ink is. I am also taking the tips of the markers that also contain ink and throwing them down into my little container that I'm going to make my inks in. And then I want to pull that tube out, if I can get it out. The struggle was real, y'all, I'm telling you. I did eventually get it out, I promise. But um, one of the problems was, is those pliers that I was using, they kept locking on me and it made it impossible. I could not get the pliers to unlock. It was funny, y'all. You had to, you just have to see it. So now I got the uh, ink cartridge out, and I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces so that it fits in my container better. And if you get ink on your scissors or whatever you're using, you just clean it up with some alcohol. It'll all come off really easy. And you can create your own custom colors. Like here, I am using two different reds, and it will give me, hopefully, a really pretty red. So we'll find out later what it actually looks like but you can create your own colors you can do mix and match whatever you so feel whatever color you're trying to create so you see i went and tried this black marker to get the actual end off of it and it still wasn't cooperating these black markers i don't know they they were not meant to be opened up yeah but my persistence did eventually pay off so I'm going to go ahead and let you watch for a minute, and I'll jump back on when it comes to the next step. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to let you watch me try to take these things apart and get the insides out where all the ink is. I forget what they're called, like ink tubes or I don't know. But anyway, I'll let you watch till the next step.
Okay, so now that the struggle bus is over, I'm just cleaning my scissors with some alcohol. And I am going to go ahead and start adding my alcohol to the make the inks. So I'm using this eyedropper just because I don't feel like pouring it. And the bottles that I'm going to end up using are small, so I want to make sure that I don't make too much that it won't fit in the bottles that I bought. And I am taking about 7 milliliters of alcohol and putting it in each container that has my ink cartridge things in it. And I'm going to show you in just a minute. I don't know if you can tell how easy that the ink is being drawn out by the alcohol. I mean, it's almost instantaneous. But once I get the alcohol added to each one of my cups, I'm going to go ahead and stick the lids on and put them aside for at least a couple of hours up to a day or two to let as much of that colored ink seep out of the cartridges as possible. Now that green, yellow, and pink have already sat for an entire day, so I'm, you can go ahead and take the cartridges out of it, or you can just leave them in. Just depends on what you decide to do and what you're going to keep your inks in. I actually am going to put my inks in some 5 milliliter polish bottles that I got off of Amazon for like $9.00. I think I got like 20, 24, something like that, bottles for like $9. Maybe it was 10 But if you want the link to those polish bottles, let me know and I will make sure that I send it to you. Because I'm pretty sure they're still available. So here I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the rest of the ink out of these um, cylinders and just get rid of the cylinders. Now I will say that this yellow did not work the way I wanted it to. It had kind of a weird greenish tinge to it so I ended up scrapping this one and I'm going to have to go ahead and find another way to make a yellow one because this one just didn't work. I think that marker may have just been too old or stained or I don't know, but something up with that particular marker that it just didn't look right. But all the rest of the inks came out almost perfect. Now the one that I thought was going to be black didn't end up being black, it ended up being a super dark blue. But that's okay, I can get another black somewhere. Like maybe if I use a sharpie, that might be more of a black hue than what this one turned out to be. But it's still pretty.
subject of the video. Um, here are all my finished inks, and they are already in my 5 milliliter nail polish bottles. And I don't know if you can tell through the bottles, but these colors are really, really um, saturated. And we're going to go ahead and try them out here in just a minute so you can see just exactly how well they work. Now, I did also make a white and a gold using mica powder just to experiment and see if it worked. Now, they did work kind of, sort of, not maybe the way I had hoped, but they were still pretty. They just didn't move around with the alcohol like in alcohol ink should, so they're probably going to be more of an a uh, wet mica look but that's okay you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with them here in a few minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and test these out and um, let you watch and see how well they work or don't work well, let me know what you think of this if you would um, try this out or use them you can also use these for just regular art that you would use al any alcohol ink for you don't have to use them for nails per se and let me know if you would use these for, or what you would use them for, if you decided to try to make these. Anyway, you will see the kind of how these, uh, the gold and the white did or did not work when I go to do that black nail. But anyway, I was fairly pleased with how well they work. They'll work in a pinch until I am able to get some different inks at some point. But in a pinch, they work pretty well. well. Let me know what you think about them. And if you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and leave me a bouquet of flowers. I would love that, it's just so I know you've been here. And let me know how you enjoy this video and maybe give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed yet, I hope you do. Um, I do do nails, I do do various art projects such as sewing, and like this, the, making these alcohol inks was another little project that I decided to try, and I'm sure I'll be trying some other different things here and there. So make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this. I would love to have you. Anyway, please enjoy while I work with these inks and show you how they work. And I hope you have a fantastic day, evening, afternoon, night, whatever, wherever the time of day it, uh, you are. I hope it's wonderful. And I thank you so much for taking the time to go on this little adventure with me.